All right, guys. So right off the bat, I'm just going to come out and say it. Tokyo Revengers is so damn cool. Everybody in this anime looks so damn cool. I absolutely love the aesthetic of Tokyo Revengers, bro. Like this delinquent gangster punk aesthetic with everyone with like the blonde hair. It just looks so cool. And like Tokyo Revengers, just from the first episode, legitimately has everything that I love and enjoy about a series in this genre, bro. Like the plot and the concept of the show is so intriguing. Takamichi, the main character, he has an archetype that I really, really enjoy in a main character. And just like Tokyo Revengers legitimately has the potential to be one of the greats of this anime season. It is definitely a gem. And like I said, I only watched the first episode, but I'm already in here for the long run, bro. I'm going to be watching this every week as soon as it comes out. And for the people that don't know what Tokyo Revengers is, and this is your first time hearing about it, I'll give you guys a quick little synopsis of the plot. So basically, our main character, Takamichi, he believes that he is at his lowest point in life right now. He believes that everything up to this point has gone wrong. He's made all the wrong decisions in his life. He's absolutely miserable. He basically is like the punching bag of society. Like nobody respects him. Everybody just shits on him and roasts him. And Takamichi, he just doesn't really do anything about it. He's kind of just contempt with being miserable all the time. So one day he's watching the news channel and the news channel actually announces that a couple people have died recently. And one person kind of rings in his mind a little bit. And that actually was his middle school girlfriend, the only girlfriend that he's ever had in life. Tachibana Hinata has recently died and he kind of doesn't really feel anything at first. He, you know, he's like, oh, Tachibana Hinata, I remember her, but you know, it's been a long time. I haven't talked about her. You know, you know, it's not nothing of my concern, basically. So he goes on with life, you know, being miserable and being a fucking punching bag and whatnot. Right. And Takamichi, unfortunately, one day gets pushed onto an oncoming train in classic isekai fashion, even though this isn't an isekai. And he gets transported back to his middle school days where he declares that this is where he peaked. This is where he was at the height of his life. He had friends. He was in a gang. You know, he looked kind of cool even though there's a scene in the anime where he says he looked lame as fuck and of course he had his girlfriend Tachibana Hinata bro so basically Takamichi declares that he is going to do whatever it takes to save his girlfriend from dying in the present where he just came from and he's also going to make a better man out of himself he's going to try his best to redo his past mistakes and live a life that he feels is worth living and I fucking love that bro i love this concept so much man dude takamichi he's not really a strong character that's the thing like he has an archetype where he kind of reminds me of somebody like subaru a lot where he doesn't really get his strength from natural talent he gets it from determination because you'll see him fail in this first episode like he'll fail a lot of times and you know he's awkward and uh, as shit is sometimes but Bro, I, I love his character right now. He's absolutely, he's really cool. Now, as much as I am praising Tokyo Revengers plotline right now, I, trust me, I do know that Tokyo Revengers is not the first one to kind of do this redo your mistakes and save the girlfriend type thing, right? I'm pretty sure everybody in the mother's probably thinking the same thing right now. Tokyo Revengers is a little like an anime called Erased. Now, in my opinion, Erased is a phenomenal, phenomenal show, bro. I absolutely loved a race and i personally would have gave it a 10 out of 10 if only it wasn't for the ending in the anime bro i am telling you this right now for as long as i live i will never get over the ending to the anime i know the ending in the manga is different and i think it fleshes out of things a little bit more but the ending to the anime i remember watching it with my friend and i just I could not believe it, bro. Like I was like, I was literally speechless. I was stunned, bro. I wouldn't say it was a bad ending, but it definitely rubbed me a r the wrong way, right? But regardless, Tokyo Revengers definitely draws some similarities to something like a race. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already drawn that same comparison. I don't know. At this point, maybe I have a fetish for fucking time travel or something like that. I have a fetish for being able to redo your past mistakes because like I love ReZero. I love Erase, and now, right now, I love Tokyo Revengers, bro. Another thing I really like about Tokyo Revengers is that Takamichi, he actually keeps his adult mind, like his adult mindset. I know a lot of other animes do that as well. Mushoku Tensei has done that. Erase did that as well. But Takamichi, it's kind of funny to see him interact with, like, his middle school friends and stuff like that. 
does his friends there's one scene where like his friends are like yeah bro we're ready to fire right we're gonna fuck these people up he's like he's like he's, he's kind of monologuing he said he's like damn bitch i've been fine 15 years like i don't know what the fuck i'm about to do dude i'm about to get that my ass beat i just thought it was completely funny that they really stayed true to his character that that man is kind of a pussy right now bro like, and i just think that was absolutely hilarious bro and you know his interactions with his past girlfriend is really really endearing it's really nice to see that and you know there's something that happens at the end i don't want to spoil too much that's the thing the point of this video is for, for me to get yo ass to go watch tokyo avengers and get on this train bro because i really like the show a lot and i want you guys to enjoy it as well i don't know what it is guys i just feel like i'm such a sucker for like these zero to hero type of stories and characters just something about it just feels so real and genuine like this underdog status like no matter what happens i can't help but root for them like when they're struggling they're at their lowest they're down on their luck like i just want the best for them i want them to prosper and be able to su succeed in what they're doing man and i just i can't get enough of stories like that and i hope you guys take my advice when i say watch the first episode of tokyo avengers and let me know what you guys think about it because i'm telling you bro tokyo avengers has so much potential because i heard the manga the manga is really good but i'm gonna stick with it for the anime right now but tokyo avengers has so much potential to be good like it's such a hidden gem i feel like for this season but like i said if you like series like erased or re-zero or anything in that category that involves time travel shit maybe even a little bit of steins gate here and there i feel like tokyo avengers is definitely in that alleyway and you guys will enjoy that a lot but nonetheless everybody that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy this man thank you so much for all the love and support on my most recent videos it really really re means the world to me man that you guys enjoy these uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell guys it's super easy it takes like one second of course you guys can always change your mind later also make sure to click that like button before you head out it really helps the boy a lot but nonetheless it's been your boy ivory and go watch tokyo revengers <laughs>